Hello friends, today's question, a small sphere of radius r is held against the inner surface of larger sphere of radius 6r. The masses of large and small spheres are 4m and m respectively. This arrangement is placed on the horizontal table. There is no friction between any of the contact surface. The small sphere is now released. Find the coordinate of center of larger sphere when the smaller sphere reaches the other extreme position. So we have this bigger sphere of radius 6r and smaller sphere which is on the lying on the x-axis and axis x-axis along the radius and we have to find out and initial position is on the extreme right and we have to find out the coordinates of center of mass when this small mass is released and it raises to the other extreme that is on the left side of the this on the axis now in this case we have to remember that as the small mass is going to travel inside the bigger sphere the bigger sphere is also going to make some movement toward the left okay so we can say the small sphere moves inside the large sphere this also changes the position of the large sphere okay, so this is one important conclusion we can draw it here now we are going to find out the center of mass when the small sphere is on the extreme right. Let us call that as an initial condition. Okay. So we can say for initial condition. when small sphere is at the extreme right. So we can draw its figure. this is our x-axis and this is y-axis and this is the origin and we have sphere of radius 6r and this is a smaller sphere of radius r this is center and this is center of larger sphere so we say let initially the distance from the origin of this larger sphere is given as x so this distance is given as x so its coordinate will be given as x comma 0 and the total radius is our 6r and this smaller radius is capital R so therefore we can say this distance will be about 5R therefore the distance of the center of the smaller sphere from the origin it can be written as x plus 5R 
So this is the initial condition. We say the center of large sphere. lies at x comma 0 and that of larger sphere sorry smaller sphere and that of small sphere lies at so we are going to get this as x plus 5r and 0 it will lies at x plus 5r and 0 so we are able to find out this coordinate also this coordinate is our x plus 5r and 0 Now it's given that radius of larger sphere, radius of large sphere is equal to 6r and radius of smaller sphere is capital R radius of small sphere is capital R. Now let us use the formula for the center of mass for this initial condition. So you can see center of mass let us call it as xi initial condition will be given as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 and in this case m1 is our mass of larger sphere which is given as 4m m2 is mass of smaller sphere which is given as capital M x1 is the distance of the center for the larger sphere which is given as x and x2 is the distance of the center for the smaller sphere which is given as x plus 5r therefore we can say our xi will be equal to um, 4m multiply by x plus m multiply by x plus 5r and this will be 4m plus capital M this is equation number 1 now we go for the final condition so for final condition so in this case when small sphere is at the extreme left of larger sphere And please keep in mind that under this condition, final condition, the larger sphere is also going to move towards left. So you can see, and the larger sphere is also going to move words left so 
let us draw the figure for this situation. So this is our once again x-axis, so origin and this is the larger sphere and now the smaller sphere is at this position. This is center, this is center of larger sphere and we suppose that the, now the coordinate is given as L0 for the larger sphere which basically means this is the L distance and we have the distance between the radius, this radius is given as capital R and the whole radius is our 6R so we are left with the distance between the center of two circles will be over 5R thus we can say the center of the small sphere with respect to the origin which means this distance will be now L minus 5R we get this at this as L minus 5R or we can simply say that the coordinate of this center will be L minus 5R comma 0 now once again we are going to use the formula for the final condition so we can say XF will be equal to the basic formula will be same that is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 now the only values of x1 and x2 are going to change so here m1 once again is equal to 4m m2 is equal to capital 1m and we have x1 is equal to our L and x2 is equal to L minus 5R okay. now we substitute the values we can say that our xf will be now equal to 4m multiply by L plus M sorry M multiply by L minus 5R and divided by 4M plus capital M this is let us suppose equation number 2 now as you can see there is no change in the center of mass of the system in the absence of external force the center of the mass of the system is going to remain the same in the absence of external force center of mass of the system does not change therefore we can say that xi is equal to xf now we substitute the values of xi and xf xi was equal to 4m multiply by x plus m multiply by x plus 5r divided by 4m plus m is equal to 4m multiply by l plus m multiply by l minus 5r divided by 4m plus capital M 
Now here, these denominator cancels out. This capital M also cancels out. So we are left with only 4x. plus x plus pi bar is equal to 4L plus L minus pi bar. So here we can say we are going to get 5x and will be equal to 5L and this will be equal to minus of 10R and 5, 5 and 2 goes so we are left with x is equal to l minus 2r now from here we can say new coordinate which is given as l is equal to x plus 2r this is the x coordinate of the large sphere this is the x coordinate of the large sphere and as from the figure we can clearly see that the large sphere is moving along the x-axis therefore its y coordinate will be equal to 0. Say as large sphere moves along x-axis its y-coordinate is equal to 0 therefore we get that coordinate of of large sphere when small sphere reaches the extreme left position extreme left position is L comma 0 or we can say this will be x plus 2r comma 0 therefore this completes the question thank you